Kevin Holland, along with the rest of our 2K broadcast team, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. It's a single game return to Dallas as the Mavericks look for a boost from their hometown crowd. Getting their first look of the season at this Hornets team. Home court advantage played a part in last year's season series. Each team took their home game in a 1-1 split. And looking back to last year, they won this season series, as you'd probably expect. Now the opening lineup for the New Orleans Hornets. Gordon the off guard with Aminu at the three. Ryan Anderson is at the four with Anthony Davis at the five. And it's Vasquez in at the point. And for Dallas, Durkin came in there inside. Bobo out there with Mayo. And it's Carter in at the small forward position. To touch again on Steve's comment, last year they were a playoff team facing a team that went home at the end of the regular season, and Clark, they, they took advantage. Yeah, that to me is what makes a playoff team, Kevin. I mean, beating the teams you should beat and then not having any significant letdown. Here is Vasquez. 14 points from him the last game against Houston. For three, Gordon. That's good. For three. Gordon's got five. Now we're getting used to seeing him hit those shots, aren't we? Came in, kicks to Carter. Over Aminu. Vince Carter the bucket on the assist by Keenan. Another nice move from a player we've basically come to expect. Nothing less from. You know, the question in the last few years in New Orleans is, you know, would the Hornets be able to stay just from a financial standpoint? Or would they leave and move to a new city? But uh, that question was answered last year when they signed a new lease, the Hornets did, uh, with the city of New Orleans to stay through the year 2000. 24. Shot from the inbound, and there's Eric Gordon on the assist by Aminu. And that's now seven points for Eric Gordon. And just signing that lead, Steve, as you mentioned, really a big commitment to the city in 2024. That's amazing. And, and Clark, it really helps reaffirm the bond between the team and, and certainly the city. Exactly. It can be hard to grow attached to a team. You know, so much of a fan's attachment is emotional, but you need to know how long they're going to be around. And that was really good news for Hornets fans when they signed that lease. That's good for Nowitzki on the assist by Carter. Nowitzki's got his second bucket of the night. Last outing for New Orleans, it was a loss to the Rockets in Houston. Well, their shots just were not dropping for them in that game. A cold shooting night, that's all you can say. Well, the shot selection was a big part of it, Steve. I mean, they were taking terrible shots. It's not at all what you like to see from a team that should certainly be able to execute better. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Well, Kevin, Rick Carlisle and I got a chance to talk just for a bit. One player who's really on his mind in this matchup is Eric Gordon. He said of Gordon, he can shoot with deep range and has the strength and explosiveness to go by you if you overcommit and finish or get himself to the line. So he's just an underrated scorer in this league, and it's going to take a total team effort to slow him down. Kevin will see how they do. Thanks again, Doris. Well, the things to love about Anthony Davis, he's 6'10", he's got a 7'4 wingspan, he can block shots, but he's quick enough to... Oh, oh, hammer time! Wow. Hammer time! Did you see that? Oh, we got to see that one again, guys. We've got to see that yeah, again. I, I need a replay. I, I, I'm not sure what I just looked at. We've got 155 left here in the first quarter. And Monty Williams, a former first-round pick of Notre Dame, out of Notre Dame, played nine seasons in the NBA. And I know that that playing experience is clearly an asset for a head coach. That's good. Carter's got five. Come on now. You got to pay better attention than that on a shooter like him. You'll make that ten times out of ten. It is now to Amina. One twenty-two left in the first quarter of the game. Bobo pulls it in. And going back to Coach Monty Williams, Steve, do you think having been a player... Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. What a huge play. Throwing it down with one hand and making it look easy. Easy and funny. Just drives on making the D look silly. Yeah, which is something he does pretty often, Kevin. And that was Sprite bringing you the close-up on that big-time play. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Eldon Brands checked in for Kamen. Jefferson comes in for Vince Carter. And it's Collison in for Roddy Bobois. Here's Rivers. 
Averaging six points per contest. He kicks to G. Fifty-eight seconds left here in the opening quarter. And that one's good. Well, it was the Dallas Mavericks in their last game, a loss to the Heat. Yeah, they allowed far too many open looks in that game, guys. Can't disagree with you there, Steve. I mean, that's exactly what did them in. They didn't apply nearly enough pressure on their shooters. Well, you know, Elton Brand in his day was a consistent all-star in production, if not recognition. But those days are behind him. You know, he's now more of just a, a good, solid starting power forward in the NBA. Looking at who's out there now for the Mavericks. Chris Kamen has checked in for Nowitzki. Carter comes in for Richard Jefferson. Delonte West's checked in for O.J. Mayo. And it's Bobo in for Darren Collison. Here's Lopez. Kamen with the defensive effort. You talk about Elton Brand's prime. Clark, the number one overall pick back in 1999. Yeah, and a guy who averaged about 20 points and 10 rebounds his first eight seasons. That doesn't happen very often in this league. Not to mention a guy who could pass and block shots too, Kevin. About three seconds between shot and game play. Vasquez, this is the G. Down low. And he finishes nicely on the way. Well, that makes five of their last six makes coming from inside. Yeah, really focused on getting the ball into the paint because they're taking advantage of very porous defense down there. Rough and rugged down there in the low post. That's his trademark. Hard rebounds, hard finishes, up high and down hard. And he never stops working. That's what I really appreciate about him, guys. It's stolen by West. Deflects the pass. And that'll be Dallas as it goes out of bounds. Mavericks retain possession. And a high scoring first quarter, 14 quarter. What stands out to you guys from the Hornets in this one? Well, the thing they tried to establish right away was the presence down low. You look at the points in the paint. I think that's been the difference. Yeah, and I like the fact, Steve, that they're not settling for the outside shots. I mean, go in there and get what you want. Keep attacking the rim. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. On the court for the Mavericks. Dirk and Brand playing up front. Mayo out there with Bobois. And it's Jones in at the three slot. And Dirk Nowitzki gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Darren Collison, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Henry passes to Vasquez. Davis with a screen on Collison. Here's the three. They get it again. Vasquez kicks to Henry. Aminu. Tries again. Nice persistence to tip it back up and in. And that's now six points for Anthony Davis. You can't let someone of this skill go unbodied at the rim like that. Box him out. Get him away from the basket. He'll make you pay with tip ins like you just saw. Collison, no good. Solid advantage in the rebounding totals for them so far here. You know, in every game, but particularly in a close game, every little advantage you can use helps. And they're certainly enjoying one on the glass here. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Chris Kamen's checked in for Brand. Jefferson comes in for Dante Jones. Vince Carter, he's checked in for O.J. Mayo. And it's Bobo in for Darren Collison. Passes it to Warwick. Let's it go from 14. Good. Warwick's got his first bucket of the night. Well, none of the defenders were quick enough to step out and get a hand in his face on that jump shot. Big mistake there. The Hornets leading by three. Seeing the Mavs in the playoffs is something that is almost a given at this point. I mean, they've made it each season since 2001. Well, he took that defender head on and... Threw down the two-hander power jam. Straight power there, guys. Well, you gotta love his determination. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Eldon Brands checked in for Nowitzki. Cunningham comes in for Richard Jefferson. And Delonte West is subbed in for Roddy Bobois. 
going back to Dallas, you do take for granted that somehow, some way, they'll find their way into the postseason, Steve. And, uh, but the results, obviously, were they just got in, but they couldn't do anything once they got there. Well, I give Mark Cuban a ton of credit uh, for uh, what Clark talked about, just the, the, the longevity of their success. And a lot of that has to do with Dirk Nowitzki as well. But Cuban had a vision. He's put together an amazing franchise, and Dirk has been the superstar to build around. What a run it's been for Dallas. Kamen fires. He drains the quick shot. New Orleans in the lead. Here's Warwick. Oh, how about that basketball, man? Beautiful. Wow. The defense just couldn't recover in time. Yeah, but he pretty much went brain neutral on that one, Clark. Wouldn't, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, sir. I like that phrase. Yeah, I don't use that phrase very often, but to me, that's what happened. He wow. shifted the, the brain into neutral. Yes, he did. <laughs> That was embarrassing. <laughs> Special thanks to Sprite for that sweet replay. Here's G. Great D that time from Brand. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. Boy, they are really getting chewed up inside here. I mean, that's eight of the last ten points they've given up inside, in the paint. Yeah, and the paint should be sacred ground for a defense. I mean, you can't let anybody just trot in there and get an easy bucket. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Dirk Nowitzki, he's checked in for Brand, and it's Mayo in for Cunningham. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Davis has checked in for Jason Smith. Anderson comes in for Hakeem Ward. Al Farouk Aminu, he's checked in for Alonzo G. And it's Vasquez in for Roger Mason. Look at Nowitzki, guys. Dirk Nowitzki is a steady presence offensively, a real force at that end of the floor. And for defense and trying to deal with him, you can try whatever you want to, but he's going to find a way to get off his shots. He's seven feet tall, has tremendous range, and really crafty in knowing how to position himself for opportunity. And the rebound goes to Nowitzki. The Mavericks leading. Coach is liking Clark what he's seeing from his offense. And too, why wouldn't he? I mean, guys, they're filling it up with ease, executing, getting quality shots. I mean, this is fun. Oh, oh, man. oh, oh. He's definitely showing some real sweet dunking skills here. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. What a play. Yeah, that was spectacular. Delonte West on the wing. Five points in the game. Off target with his three. The Hornets have gone 7 to 13 for the field since the start of the second. Vasquez dishes to Aminu. Over Nowitzki. Aminu misses. The Mavericks have gone 6 and 9 in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. And the Mavericks are going for a different look here. Richard Jefferson. He's checked in for Kane. Jones comes in for Vince Carter. Adi Bobois is checked in for O.J. Mayo. And it's Collison in for Delonte West. It's a neck-and-neck -neck game here in Dallas. Question is, do they go two for one here? Can they get a good shot in time? That's the question. Gets it to go. You know, Kevin, they were a step late on their defensive rotation, and that helped them get right to the rim. Nowitzki for three. Dallas no good that time either. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. G passes to Rivers. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. The Hornets have shot just one free throw early. One for one in the game. Well, pretty good numbers this season at the line for this club. Right around 78% as a team. And comparing to the numbers of last season, they've made a bit of improvement. So that's some positive momentum they can look to build on. Well, I'm sure he'd like to have that one back, but making it a two-possession game was the key, and he got that done. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. And we're through two here and a good one. He has 12 points, and something else that's been there for him is the three-pointer. He's hit two of those. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's played into his success elsewhere. They're having to pay defensive attention to him all over the court. Getting underway in the second half, here's the five for Monty Williams. Vasquez is in at the one with Gordon at the two. Ryan Anderson is at the four with Anthony Davis at the five. And it's Aminu in at small four. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Roddy Bobo. That'll be his second foul of the game.
Here is Vasquez. He's covered by Bobois. That's a two from Gordon. That falls. Great assist by Vasquez. Vasquez has got his fourth assist in this one. You know, you look at the Hornets, and it's still a relatively new franchise. Originally in Charlotte, that's where that team started. They've only been in the league since 1988, Kevin, and they've had a lot of success in the relatively brief tenure. Back to the Hornets since their formation, 1988, as you said, Clark. They've only missed out on the playoffs 12 times. That includes the first four years when they're just an expansion team trying mm -hmm. to get their legs under them. Yep. So, yep. Steve, not that bad a history. No, not bad. And they're you know, one of the better stories you can hope for um, if you're an expansion team. I mean, they, they really were amazing in Charlotte with their attendance, their appeal to that community. And now trying to build up a, a franchise in New Orleans with a young star in Anthony Davis. Nowitzki for three, and the rebound goes to the Hornets. Another board just continuing to add to that big rebound margin. And it's a bit ironic, guys. I mean, you would think the score wouldn't be so close the way they're dominating the glass, but this one is still in the balance. Bobois for three. You know, you look at Rick Carlisle, and I think he's evolved as a coach. His teams early on in his tenure tended to play kind of slowly, uh, very defensive-minded and tough. But you think of the Dallas team that won the title in 2011. They were freewheeling. They were excellent offensively, great spacing. Uh, so I think Rick Carlisle has really evolved as a coach. That drive by Carter. Mayo kicks to Kamen. Back to Mayo. Dallas moving the ball around. Stolen by Anderson. Puts the lead pass in front of him. Oh, oh, man, that was a real hard it up. Boy, this fella can rise up there with the best of them. Just a crazy finish, guys. He's one of the few players with the athleticism to pull that off. And the highlight real replay. Brought to you by Sprite. Good stuff. Shot by Mayo is no good. The Hornets leading by five. Poked loose. Here's Gordon. And there's the rejection. Came in against Davis. From 11 feet away. And it's Kamen missing. Hornets have gone 2 of 5, shooting here in the third quarter. Grievous Vasquez, the first Venezuelan player ever drafted into the NBA. Late first round pick out of the University of Maryland. And the basket by Gordon. Well, that's been nice, efficient work, guys, that he's been doing. I mean, we haven't seen him take many bad shots, and that's the sign of a mature, poised player. What a quick response. Give up a three, get a three. They're a pretty resilient team. I'll give them that. you got to respect them for coming back that way. And Vasquez, a feisty combo guard. And, and Steve, we saw it in college. Great, great passion for the game. Yeah, he loves to play, Kevin. He comes out with a ton of energy. And what I like about him is he's got great size for a point guard, almost 6'6". And, and a real playmaker, a guy who thinks pass before shot. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Kevin, he's one of the best finishers we've got in this league. I mean, he rarely misses an opportunity to score inside when he has position. And I'll say something else, Steve. He is one of the most powerful finishers we have in this league. He takes it to the rack hard. Looking at who's out there now for the Mavericks. Eldon Brands checked in for Kamen. Jefferson comes in for O.J. Mayo. And it's Collison in for Roddy Bobo. Rivers can't get it to go. Mavericks trailed by five. Pulls up on the wing. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Lopez has got his third rebound tonight. The Hornets have gone 4-9 for the four so far in the third. Brand against Rivers. G dishes to Rivers. Inside. Got a piece of it. It's taken away by Collison. Vince Carter on the wing. The baseline J. Outside for Jefferson. Fires from deep. Gets the bucket. Jefferson's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. That's all the space he needs, guys. He'll make you pay every time if you give him that shot. Here's Rivers. No good. Great D that time from Brand. The Maverick shooting around 40% in the third. Maybe settling for some less than ideal looks out there. Well, there's not a whole lot you can do when a team gets this hot from three-point lane. All you can really do is hope that they cool off. I mean, the way it's going for them in the second half here, I don't see any sign of that happening. Now here's Rivers. 
gives him the lead pass. Lopez goes up and lays it nice and easy. Lopez has got his first points in this one. Jefferson passing to Nowitzki. Grand kicks to Collison. Let's the three fly on number three for Dallas. Nine straight points for them off of wide open looks from deep. Something has to change for this deep. Yeah, they're just giving up too many easy shots out there. They've got to close out harder, get a hand up, make him put it on the floor. Nowitzki for three. Aminu grabs the miss. Rivers against Jefferson. Rivers kicks to Lopez. He feeds it to Aminu. Here's Rivers. And no good trying to get that one. The Hornets trail. Elton Brand is out there with Chris Kamen. Then it's Mayo. Then it's Bobois. And it's Jones in at the three spot. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. And it's Gordon missing. You can see how much the defense respects him. I mean, they were all over him on that look. Bobois with the ball. And it's Gordon picking him up. And Bobois kicks to Kamen. Shoots over Henry. That's good from Kamen on the assist by Bobois. Bobois has got assist number five here tonight. And the shootout continues. Trading buckets both ways. I mean, offense definitely the focal point for these teams. Here is Vasquez. He's covered by Bobois. Anderson dishes to Vasquez. And the rejection by Brand. And now here's Mayo. The fast break opportunity. From deep three-point range, Bobois can't get it to go. The Hornets trail by four. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. The, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They've got to get going. Brand passes to Jones. Goes back up. Indeed, Brand will drop it in for two. Textbook offensive rebounding right there. I love that. Those putbacks are buckets any team loves to get. Some changes for New Orleans. Dirk Nowitzki, he's checked in for Kamen. And it's Carter in for Dante Jones. Hornets have gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. Here is Vasquez. To the paint, Gordon. That falls. Great assist by Vasquez. And that's now 18 points for Eric Gordon. Yeah, he's such a clutch player, too. Relishes these big moments with the clock winding down and the game's up for grabs. That's when he tends to want the ball and create something and more often than not, deliver. And I know he's a fan favorite because he can catch fire immediately at any point in the ball game and just start pouring it in from all over the place. To the inside, and he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. Not stop. There's no way to stop that. I mean, there's nothing you can do when he's coming at him like that. Well, that's right, Clark. Uh, Steve, he is a dangerous, dangerous player. Yeah, especially when he gets to that launching pad right there in the lane. I mean, pretty one-handed finish. That was nice. Oh, 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 oh. High and down hard. That's right. Yeah, that's right. You're using that. <laughs> I just heard the little rumble in the background. That was thunder, <laughs> fellas. He's going to make it rain out here. Did we really just see that? Someone tell me. Are we seeing things? Mm. That was unreal. I can't believe it either. And that last replay, courtesy of Sprite. Vasquez kicks to G. Over Grant. The shot no good. And the Mavericks going the other way now. That drive by Carter. Lobo outside. Fires the three. Gets it to go. And it's a seven-point Maverick lead. Well, another uncontested three there. They've got to make some kind of an adjustment. I mean, they're giving up way too many open threes. Well, the last five hoops, three have come off wide open three-pointers, Clark. So it's one thing to give up one, but you start giving three-pointers up in bunches, you're in big trouble. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Yes, Kevin, thank you. Monty Williams had some words for his team. He gave his guys the green light to keep firing from downtown, telling them, listen, I like the work you're doing out there. Keep finding those gaps on the perimeter. They're giving us open shots. Here's Carter. Aminu grabs the miss. Aminu's got his third rebound tonight. The Hornets trail by five. 
throws it up high. The alley-oop layup. Really well done. The alley-oop pass right into the layup. Outstanding play that time. Absolutely. The technique couldn't have been any better. Bro, that's two guys who really love playing together, and it shows on that play. Fires from the wing. Nowitzki shots good. And the Mavericks lead by five. Nowitzki is so smooth. Terrific shot maker. Ryan Anderson is checked in for Alonzo G. One thirty-nine left in the game, and Vince Carter picks up a foul. That is his first foul of the game. Mavericks on D. Vasquez kicks to Amina. The kick out to Anderson, and stolen by Kamen. But that's only his first turnover, so he's done a nice job here offensively. The Hornets trail by five. Dishes it to Gordon. Rises up and throws it down. And that's what you love to do as the road team, Kevin. Hit the big shot to take the crowd right out of it. Yeah, they've done that for sure. They sure have. And that shot right there had a huge effect on this crowd. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Boy, in a close game especially, those plays really hurt. There's 117 left in the fourth quarter. Feeds it to Aminu. And it's rebounded by Dallas. And his mechanics are just all out of whack now. He just has no feel for his shot. Well, his numbers certainly back that fact up. I mean, he is going ice cold here. First free throw is good, and that brings them within two here. And Vasquez drops them both. 58 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Carter outside. He dishes it to Bobo. Back to Carter. From downtown! Knocks down the trifecta! What a clutch shot there. Really, the definition of clutch. Hornets have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Here is Vasquez. He's covered by Bobois. Gordon for three. And again, New Orleans has no up. And if they know what's good for him, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball into three-point territory. Well, you're right. Anything less than airtight defense on him will usually result in three points. And so they choose to intentionally foul. He drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. Well done converting those free throws. He was not going to pass up that opportunity to pad the lead. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Nails it! And now they trail by just four. I like it. He could have gone for the forced finish, but opted instead for kind of a nice smooth finger roll. I like it. Smart foul there. He got to try to extend the game. Yeah, it's still close, but they're fighting that clock as much as the score right now. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a six-point ball game. So it's the Hornets now. Urgent possession here, Clark. They need a basket. No doubt about it, Steve. They need quick, efficient scoring. You know, he's a rarity in the NBA, guys. A big man who can launch it from deep. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. He hits the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And the second one is off. Here's Davis. And now here comes Vasquez leading the break. Stolen by Carter. And so they foul intentionally. Good foul there defensively. Make him earn two points from the line. I agree with you. I mean, no freebies. Don't give anybody an easy opportunity. Make good use of your foul there. And so both free throws are good. And it's a six-point ball game. Those foul shots right there with the dagger in the heart. It's all but over, guys. And here's Henderson from the arc. Can't get it to fall. So we see the Mavericks get the win here. They pulled off this win, Clark, with respectable performances on both ends of the floor. Yeah, I think it was just really a nice overall effort, Kevin.
Thank you for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K.